Hey YouTube, Kira Toy here, bringing you guys an update to my Gem Knight Yu Gi Oh deck profile for post Yu Gi Oh Extreme Force. We got the new Gem Knight Link Monster in the latest uh, pack. I think it's quite awesome they gave us a bunch of cards from the Link Reigns pack all together because it helps us work on a bunch of different decks and gem knights included and it just sped up the deck so so much i'm happy we got the card because gem knights were one of my favorite decks i do deck profiles for them all the time so uh, let's go ahead and jump right in it just raise the consistency of the deck so much and that's what i'm mostly happy for so let's go ahead and get started all right to begin i run three gem knight tourmaline now when you're running the vanilla uh, monster in the deck because of the rescue rabbit target you can choose between tourmaline or garnet whatever you want for the uh, search but just remember that tourmaline and uh, garnet both have different fusion options so with my build if you decide to run garnet instead of tourmaline you have to take out from the uh, extra deck the topaz and the prismora because both of these are specific targets for a thunder monster and for tourmaline himself so you have to replace it with garnet and um, I think it was a citrine for the two fusions there. So just remember that if you decide to place Garnet in. But still both very good stat vanilla monsters to get out for your summons. And for the backup, I run three Gem Knight Lapis. I run this one um, so you can go into your uh, Lady Lapis plays, which she is too good not to run, so you definitely have to have this in. And with Rescue Rabbit at three, you have those two for your searches for the uh, Rescue Rabbit plays. So both searches are consistent. In case you open up with some, you still have the other one to go into. And also three, Gem Knight Obsidian. This card, if it's sent from the hand to your graveyard, you target one level four or lower normal monster in the graveyard and special summon it. So if you use this and one of the normal monsters, you get it back. So it's basically like you make up for one of the resources that you lost. A three of, you definitely want to open it up. And it also is used for some of your other Gem Knight fusions. It has rock as its types. You can go into Zirconia, which is one of your bigger plays with the deck, one of your uh, bigger beaters, and I also run three Gem Knight Leslie. This card, if it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Now, unlike Obsidian, this card doesn't have to be from the hand, so you can get this off other ways as well, like with Brilliant Fusion or even uh, Foolish Burial, because it just has to be sent to the graveyard by a card effect. So recycle back to your hand some other resource that you might use, like Tourmaline or Lapis, depending on what you need for that fusion. But always keeping that hand consistency for later fusion plays is very important. And I also run three Gem Armadillo. Now this card I think is so, so cool with the new Phantom Quartz because Phantom Quartz requires two Gem Monsters, meaning you can use Gem Armadillo and another Gem Knight Monster to make it. So if you get um, basically, um, not Lapis Lazuli, Seraphonite on the field, and then you get the additional normal summon. You can take up one normal summon, get armadillo out on the field, use its, or you can even just use the armadillo first, grab another gem knight, summon that gem knight, then use the armadillo and the uh, seraphonite to get into your gem knight uh, quartz play because that um, is the new requirement, which I think is just too, too, too good. Makes it a definite three of in the deck. But it was always a three of. The card is just way too good not to run three of. And I also run, like I said, three Rescue Rabbit. You gotta run three. Gra grabbing this search, giving you that one additional monster helps with so many of your plays. And having the two search targets means you're most of the time, if you're lucky, even grabbing two Rescue Rabbits, having two special summon search plays off. And for the last uh, monster, I run one Crystal Rose. This is so you can have another option for your Foolish Burial. Um, target to send to the graveyard to get that special summon to the field by banishing a fusion from your graveyard and then having the name copy effect as well so you can go into more specific fusions as well with these cards and then that is it for the monsters a pretty basic lineup but it's also very very consistent that i found just everything works so so well together whenever you open up uh, you always have a play to start off with but now moving on to the spells, I run three Gem Knight Fusion. It is your main fusion spell card in the deck. Uh, basically like a polymerization for the field and hand to fusion summon. But what's so great about it is it also has a recycle effect. All you have to do is uh, banish a Gem Knight 
monster in the graveyard to add it back to your hand. So reuse for fusion plays. What I compare this to is Gishki Aquamere because it also has a shuffle back effect, but the Gishki Aquamere is nothing in comparison to this card, sadly, because this one adds the fusion spell card back to your hand by banishing. For the Gishki one, you have to shuffle the spell card back into the deck to grab the ritual monster. This one, you can keep on going with the fusion summons if you have the plays to do so in your graveyard. So with Phantom Quartz getting your fusion plays off, giving you monster to resources on the field you can just keep going with your plays it's crazy it's a definite three of you got to open it up is the biggest weakness i would say but made even easier with phantom quartz's search effect also three brilliant fusion um you know this is the original deck that this car was made for so definitely gotta run it three you can send cards like lazuli and your uh, normal monsters uh to search out and go for the seraphonite which like i said very important for your phantom quartz play giving you the extra normal summon for armadillo and an additional monster as well and then using those monsters for those plays pretty standard and also I run three, Absorb Fusion. This card, you add one Gem Knight card from your deck to your hand, then you can apply this effect. Uh, fusion, summon one Gem Knight Fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials from your hand or your side of the field. So it's kind of like a miracle fusion from the hand or field if you want to, because it says then you can apply this effect. But then you can always special summon uh, Gem Knights for the rest of the turn. Um, but that's not too big of a limit since he technically is a gem knight, so you still have plenty of your plays to go through with the deck. So not really a limit at all when you activate this card, giving you the searches that you need. And it says gem knight card, so you can even search um, gem knight fusion if you want. So even more searches to search for, which is just way, way, way too good. And also two unexpected die. This um, grabs your additional um, vanilla monsters so you don't end up drawing them. If you open up rabbit and you have this in your hand and you didn't open up any of the vanillas, use this to special summon one of them. Then use the rabbit to grab the last two so you don't have to have any more in the deck to worry about. And also one Foolish Burial, like I said, this is for the Crystal Rose and the Lazuli plays to grab back and Special Summon. Uh, one Dark Hole, it's pretty much, like I said, you know, staple in the deck. And I also run one Upstart Goblin for draw consistency. Uh, two Twin Twister. It's uh, back row power because one thing that could really limit the deck is when your opponent uh, plays cards that could possibly banish cards and you don't want that you want to have resources in your graveyard to use with this deck but even if they do banish you do have phantom quartz's effect for the shuffle back to rely on so you're not too too limited but like i said for banish effects for gem knight fusion and all that you do want those in the uh, graveyard and as for traps i run two solemn strike uh, pretty much basic staple along with the one solemn warning and i also run two lost winds i'm starting to really like this trap mostly because it has that um, set effect from the graveyard for a, a special summon so you can reuse the half uh, effect and effect negation so like a double effect failure which just benefits from having that set play on the field and you know if you set this with the warning you can have your opponent try and bait it out so they can grab this or the warning but if they destroy this you can obviously just reuse it or even use it on that negation so way 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 too good love it in the deck that's the biggest thing i found with the deck was just trying to have trap cards that ran consistency i almost didn't want to run traps but then i thought there's really no much more search i can put in the deck um that you know can help with it so i thought a small little trap high lineup would be fine but moving on to the extra deck i run two gem knight phantom courts yeah, if this card is Link Summon, you can add one Gem Knight card from your deck to your hand. You can only pay 1,000 life points to Fusion Summon one Gem Knight Fusion Monster from your extra deck by shuffling Fusion Materials in your possession um, listed on uh, the extra deck by shuffling. So you basically, from your deck, uh, from your Banished and or Graveyard, but it cannot attack directly this turn, you can only use uh, each effect of Phantom Quartz once per turn. The Search effect by alone is amazing because like i said it's basically all you need to do is open up two gem knight monsters which before i had to you know open up those monsters and then just hope to grab something that could search out a gem knight fusion card but this having that extra deck option helps so so much with the deck because it's an easy search especially with like i said those two normal summons that can happen and the fusion effect itself, you know, grabbing back your resources to fusion summon from the graveyard gives you that extra deck point. And it can really go for those OTK plays that makes the deck so, so great. 
And also one Mrs. Radiant. It's basically Earth Link staple, so you gotta have the one of in there. I thought about two, but you know, most of the time you're gonna be going into Phantom Quartz more than that anyway, so I stuck with the one. And I also run one Master Diamond and one Lady Brilliant Diamond. Uh, both of your heavy monsters that you'll go into for three or more Gemini monster plays. Like I said, big key plays if you want to. And I stated earlier, Topaz and Prismora. If you have um, Garnet instead of Tourmaline, you'll go with uh, Citrine and uh, Ruby. I think I said Garnet at the beginning of the video, but yeah, I know the fusion is actually called Ruby and the vanilla monster is Garnet. And also I run two Zirconias, like I said, the heavy hitter, multiple times where it could get destroyed. You want to have that extra option. Same with uh, Lapis Lazuli for the special burn. You can only control one or special summon, I think, one per turn, but still running two if it ever gets destroyed to go into it again. You have enough Lapis to run in the deck to make it useful. And two Seraphonites for your Brilliant Fusion plays most of the time for that additional normal summon. Sometimes you can Gem Knight Fusion them as well, but easy is play is with uh, Brilliant Fusion. And for the Exceed Monsters, one Tornado Dragon and one number 41 Baguska. Uh, basic staple, if you go in with Rescue Rabbit, you can you get your Tourmalines out. Another easy Exceed to do. Most of the time, even with cards like Obsidian and whatnot, if you have the arrows pointing, you can uh, Exceed with these with the leftover Armadillo or Special Summon Tourmaline on the field as well. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.